Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in to the second episode of my trailer here. It's the old trailer my papa made, my great grandpa, my great grandpa made it, actually. And you can check my previous video, see I'm doing the tires on it, tires and wheels. And this time I'm doing hubs, I'm going all through the hubs and cleaning them and repacking them. So I'm going to show y'all how I do that today. So This is actually an old Chevy front axle. Somebody welded up the knuckles on them. So it's pretty easy. It's got this cap. First thing you want to do is take the cap off. And I've got a pair of channel locks. Yes. However you can get it off. Might have to tap on. There it is. Now, this cap was already all beat up and dented up before, but if you have a trailer that the caps aren't all beat up and dented up, you might not want to bang on them like that. You could get a screwdriver or a chisel and put in the slot and pry it out or something, tap it in and pry it out. Just gotta figure out your own way to do it. The next thing, after the cap, there's a Carter key in here. You just gotta take and bend up this Carter key. You need a pair of needle nose or channel locks or whatever you got handy. This one's actually just got a nail in it from who knows how many years ago. So. Just straighten it out and it'll come right out. And depending on how tight this nut is, you'll have to get a wrench or a socket and take this nut off. This one, I'm going to have to get something to take it off depending on how worn your hubs are since they put it on. I don't have a wrench or a socket that big, so I'm just going to take my channel locks and open them up since it ain't very tight. And take it off that way you just got to be careful not to let the channel lock slip on the nut because it'll strip it just loosen them a little bit like that to take this castle nut off basically all hubs should be relatively the same pretty much the same concept of cleaning them got the nut Take the nut off, and there's a big washer. Then I, every one, the bearings are gonna be different on a newer one, but this particular one has a race. And then right here, it's got a ball bearing. Most of them have more of a wheel bearing. The newer ones and then your whole hub will just come off and when you put it back together you can clean all the spindle when you pack it and everything you can see there's another ball bearing in the back so it's pretty simple to get off when you're working on something it's a good idea to have all your parts laid out for you so you can see everything, know where everything's at. Don't have to worry about losing anything. 
and I like to lay stuff out in the order it comes out just to make sure I don't forget how it comes so to clean this all the old nasty grease out of it I have a bucket a five gallon bucket with a couple gallons of just old farm diesel in it so I'm just gonna set it in the diesel and let it soak a little bit and for the rest of these parts what I found is the best way to clean them is you can either get some degreaser or something and clean them like that or I got a piece of tie wire I'm gonna take the bearing the race the washer and the nut and put them all on this wire and drop them down in the diesel this is my bucket of diesel you can see the hubs right here that little circle and I got my wire with all my parts on it so I'm just gonna take it put it down in this diesel and just swish it back and forth and just keep swishing for a while and you can take it out and look at it you can already see it's coming a little bit cleaner I just keep swishing until it comes most clean. If your bearings are too worn, then if you swish them all, the bearings might come out of the holder. So you gotta be careful with that. If they're that bad, you need new bearings anyway. I'm not changing these bearings. So I'm not that worried about it. It's not gonna be, a, the trailer's not gonna be on the road. It's just gonna be for around a yard and pasture. So I'm not worried about the bearings that much. you can see they're coming pretty clean so after they come pretty clean like that you can take them up on your workbench and clean them with a little brush so I got them back up on the workbench I'll take them off my wire it's a good idea to have some rags so they don't get all over don't get diesel and oil all over your table this is just an old toothbrush I have for cleaning stuff like this so I'm just gonna take it and Scrub all the parts pretty good, break up all the hard stuff on there. There's really not too much, just old diesel and oil and grease and everything from over the years on it. It's hard and stale. Pretty easy. So after you clean them like this, I usually put them back in there and squish them again. So what I'm going to do is I, I put the bearing and the raise and the washer and the nut back and I squished them again after I cleaned them with the brush. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the hub and put it on the wire so I can swish it around like that and that bearing is still in there that bearing has to be pressed out so I'm just going to swish it back and forth a little bit Oops. Now you can let this soak in here a day or two if you want to. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna take it up there and clean it out good. Once you swish it, it kind of breaks up all the hard stuff. Makes it a lot easier to clean it out.
Oops, I'm just gonna take my toothbrush again. And just get in there. And scoop out as much of that, of that old grease and stuff as I can. Okay, so I got it all, all the stuff I can scooped out of it. So I'm gonna put it back in the diesel and swish it around again. I got it about as clean as I can get it. I got almost all the old junk out of there, all the old deep grease and everything. So that's pretty clean. So now you gotta repack the bearings and put them put it back on the trailer and clean the spindle but um they make little bearing packers that you just put them down in the little thing and push and it puts grease all in the bearing or you can just put it in your hand and beat it on your hand and it'll force grease into the bearing but I don't have that much grease and I don't have the packer and it don't work for the ball bearings anyway so I'm just gonna take my grease gun and just squirt as much of it as I can into the bearings so I'm just gonna take my grease gun and put it up to the ball bearing and just squirt as much as it'll take You have to grease these bearings, especially if you're going to have it on the road going fast, because if not, it'll heat up and your wheel will lock up. So you just want to put as much grease as you can in that bearing. And after you do that side, you can flip it over, put some more in this side. You can actually drill this and tap a hole in this hub and actually put a grease fitting in it. But I'm not going to do that on these. After you get it all clean, you want to come put it back on the trailer. But before you do that, you want to clean all the spindle. So, just take this, take your rag and wipe all the old grease and nasty off of it. Get it good and clean. If it's rusted, you need to get the rust off using a like a buffer on a grinder or emery, emery, emery cloth or maybe sandpaper, something like that. Just get the rust off of it. Don't want rust on it. And make some little things for a drill. It's a little buffer wheel, a little wire wheel you could put in it. 
or just a wire wheel on a side grinder will work good to clean it. After you get it all clean, take a grease gun and we'll put plenty of grease on it. Put it all on the back. It'll help seal it. Put it on your race on the spindle. I'm going to put grease all on this race because that's what your bearing rides on. It'll put that much more grease on your bearing. It'll not only keep it dry, it'll keep it lubricated and it'll keep it cool. Keep it from heating up and making your wheel on your trailer lock up. Because then you got to get new spindle, hub, bearings, everything. After you get all that greased, you can take your hub and stab it back on here. What I usually do, I take them. By the way, make sure there's no grease, I mean, no dirt on the, or trash on the tip of your grease gun. Because then all that will get in your bearing if you're not careful. But I usually stick my grease gun up in there and pump some grease into it. Pump a pretty good bit. And after you get that in there, you'll want to pump grease onto this outside race on your hub for this end bearing you can take and rotate it pump on the bottom After you get that grease, take your bearing, put your bearing up in there, and just slips in. You race. You can grease this if you want to. I'm just gonna take a little grease from around here where you don't need it and dab a little on there. I'd grease it. Even if you had to pump some on with a gun. Put your race in there. And I always put a little extra grease on the outside just to help seal it up. Because where there's grease, there's not water. And then this washer, usually the washer has a little key on it, and there's a keyway somewhere on the spindle. This one's on the bottom. It's probably usually going to be on the bottom. And when you press that in there, it'll squirt some grease out. Take it and wipe it back on. It looks like a lot of grease, but it works. Makes your bearings last a lot longer. Then take your nut. Put your nut back on it.
So, got my pair of channel locks again. I'm just tightening this down. You don't want it super tight. You want your hub to be able to spin pretty freely. That's about right, right there. You want to get it to the closest hole in the spindle for your car to key to go through. So, closest one's gonna be backed off just a hair. Right there. And that's pretty good. So I've got quite an assortment of car keys here. I'll find a car key that'll go through it. And just bend it around. So, after you get that done, you want to take your cap, just fit it back on there, just tap it in. Like I said before, if you got a new cap or a clean one that ain't all dented up, you might want to go about putting it on a different way and taking it off a different way but this one's all beat up anyway so I don't care but as long as it don't rub and it turns freely you're good which this one does and you just put your wheel on and you're good to go so thanks for watching this video hope it was helpful to you you can subscribe to my channel to see more videos on this trailer I'm doing a lot of work on it I'm putting new boards on it painting it I have a video putting tires on it and I'm putting a new hitch on it and so if you're interested in it just subscribe to my channel and you can follow all the build up on it so hope you like the video this is not the only way to do this so if you have a video up about how to do this and you just want to see how somebody else did it just put the name of your video and the name of your channel in the comments and I'll go watch it because I'm glad to I like to see how other people do stuff too so thanks for watching